Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Moto G Stylus 2021 and the Moto G Stylus 5G. Now, both of these phones you can get from Amazon. I'll throw the links up in the description. The price for the Moto G Stylus 2021 is 300 bucks. The price for the Moto G Stylus 5G is 400 bucks. I repeat, 300 bucks for the 2021, 400 bucks for the 5G. Now these phones are so similar that it doesn't make any sense doing two separate videos, so we're gonna do them both at the same time. All right, so we'll start off with the least expensive one, the Moto G Stylus 2021. Now this one comes in two different colors, black or white. Now this is fully unlocked, so it's gonna work on any carrier. Now for the display, you got a 6.8 inch IPS LCD panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2400. Now that's 386 for the PPI Patrol. You got glass on the front, a plastic frame, plastic back, and it does have a water repellent coating. Now for the processor, you got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 678 with the Adreno 612 GPU. Now what does that mean in English? Mid-range specs, bro, mid-range specs. Now you got four gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage, and you do have a micro SD card slot for expandable memory. Now it's running Android 10 with the Moto skin on top. You got a 4,000 milliamp battery that has 10 watt charging. For the cameras, you got a quad setup on the rear. So you got a 48 megapixel wide angle, an eight megapixel ultra wide, a two megapixel macro, and a two megapixel depth sensor. On the front, you got a 16 megapixel wide angle lens. Now you also got face unlock. You got a side mounted fingerprint sensor. You do have a stylus built in, and you got a headphone jack. All right, so all of that for 300 bucks. Let's see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes, I love my white shoes, I love my white shoes, white shoes. I love my calm down. Okay, here we go. Moto G Stylish 2021. All right, now this one is 300 bucks, fully unlocked. Okay, now I'm gonna try to make this quick since we're doing two phones. All right, so inside, here's your Moto G Stylish. Remember, this is the 2021, not the 5G. I'm gonna go over all the differences in a minute. Let's do the smell test real quick. Mm! Smells like savings. All right, shoes, inspect that for quality. Let's see what else you get in the box. Okay, real simple. Now you got your 10 watt charging brick and a USB-A to USB Type-C charging cable. Okay, simple and straightforward. All right, now I'll go over the phone in a minute. Now let's take a look at the Moto G Stylus 5G. Now here's one of the main differences, 5G. Now if you live in an area that has 5G and you're already paying for 5G service, go with the 5G. You're gonna get faster data speeds. If you don't have 5G, you might wanna save some money and go with the 2021. Now these phones are very similar and I'm gonna break down the differences in a minute. All right, so for the 2021, 300 bucks. For the 5G, 400 bucks. Now this one comes in one color, emerald green. For the display, you got a 6.8 inch IPS LCD panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2400. Now that's 378 for the PPI Patrol. Actually 387, my bad. <laughs> for the processor, you got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 480 with the Adreno 619 GPU. Now what does that mean in English? Mid-range specs, bro, mid-range specs. And on the side note, the processor is a little bit better on the 2021, but in real life usage, they're about the same. Now you got four or six gigs of RAM, 128 or 256 gigs of storage, and you do have a micro SD card slot for expandable memory. Now take note, if you buy the uh, 5G, you do get more storage, all right? So if you get the 2021, it only goes up to 128 gigs. If you get the 5G, you can get 256 gigs of storage. All right, so I'm gonna recap all of the differences in a minute. Now this one is running Android 11 with the Moto skin on top. Now you got a 5,000 milliamp battery that also features 10 watt charging. So that's another difference. 4,000 milliamp battery versus 5,000 milliamp battery. For the cameras, on the rear, you got a quad setup. So you got 48 megapixel wide, eight megapixel ultra wide, five megapixel macro, and a two megapixel depth sensor. On the front, 16 megapixel wide angle lens. Now you also got face unlock, you got a fingerprint sensor, you got the built-in stylus, and you got a headphone jack. So, let's recap the differences real quick. The price, 
okay? 300 bucks versus 400 bucks. Let's go ahead and pop this open real quick. Now inside, same thing, just the charging brick and your cable. This is gonna be a device. Let's do a little smell test. Mm! Also smells like savings, okay? So quick recap, 300 bucks, 400 bucks. 4,000 milliamp battery, 5,000 milliamp battery. No 5G, 5G. Now, with the uh, 5G version, the camera is a little bit better, but with the non-5G version, the process is a little bit better. Now, I use both of these phones all day long for some heavy testing, and they run identical. All right, so don't get caught up with the processor speed on paper and all of that. These are both mid-range phones, okay? In my opinion, though, the 5G is definitely a better buy. Okay, you're getting 5G service. The display just looks a little bit better, looks a little, a little bit more vibrant, and you got a bigger battery. All right, so I'm gonna pause the video, let me set everything up, and then we'll walk through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, now, if you're gonna buy the Moto G Stylus 2021, the case that you wanna get is the Ghost Tech Covert. Now, you can pick this one up on Amazon. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on this one is 15 bucks. Now, it comes in three different colors. You got Phantom Clear, Phantom Smoke, and Phantom Pink. All right, so let's check this one out real quick. You got R2X Impact Technology. Drop tested to eight feet. Reactive buttons, HD clear back, diamond grip, raised camera lip, detailed cutouts, slim precise fit, and a limited lifetime warranty. All right, so this is the Ghost Tech Covert. Now, if y'all watch my videos, you know Ghost Tech makes some of my favorite cases. Let's get and check this one out. Okay, so inside, you got your certificate of authenticity. Pluck it and file it. You get a Ghost Tech sticker. Insert. Flick of the wrist. Okay, so let's get and slap this one on real quick. Let's check the buttons. All right, buttons work. No problems. Got a nice amount of razivity on this one. Reinforced bumpers on the corners. All the cutouts line up. Okay, you can easily get to your stylus and your headphone jack and your charging slot in the bottom. Okay, Ghost Tech Covert, 15 bucks. Now this is the Phantom Clear. Let me show you the other colors real quick. Okay, so we got Phantom Smoke. Let's check this one out. Now if you notice the difference, the clear is fully transparent. The smoke is also fully transparent, but it has the smoke tint. Now on a side note, if you weren't about your cases turning yellow, if you're gonna use them every single day, go with the smoke. All right, this one is never gonna turn any colors. Slap this one on, okay? Same protection on the corners. All that razivity. So it's Slam Boy certified. There's your buttons, cutouts, buttons, cutouts. Okay, so this is the covert smoke, phantom smoke. Now we got one more, ladies. You might want to check out the Phantom Pink. Or fellas, all right? I don't discriminate. Phantom Pink. Let's get to slap this one on. Now this one gives you that flamingo color. I like it. Same amount of resivity, same protection, same buttons, cutouts, buttons, cutouts. Now like I said, I highly recommend Ghost Tech cases. I use them on all my phones. Quality, all right? 15 bucks, quality. That's not gonna break your pockets. All right, so this is the Ghost Tech Covert Series. Let's keep it moving. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, since I'm doing two phones at the same time, I'm gonna try to make this as quick as I can. I'm gonna bypass all of the usual settings. Y'all know all of the Android settings already anyway. I'm just gonna take it right to the nitty gritty. All right, so let's start off with the Moto G Stylus 2021. Build quality, plastic on the back, plastic frame, glass on the front. Now you do have a fingerprint sensor mounted on the side and it works flawlessly. Bang, there it is, one more time. Bang. IPS LCD display looks beautiful. On one side, there's your fingerprint sensor. You got volume up and down. On the top, you got a mic. Other side, there's your SIM tray slash micro SD card slot tray. On the bottom, headphone jack, USB type C charging slot, and your speaker grill. Now, one thing I want to mention, that both of these phones only have a single bottom firing speaker, and neither one of them have NFC. All right, so make a little note of that. Now, 
for the Moto G Stylus 5G, same thing. Plastic on the back, plastic frame, glass on the front. Now, both of these phones have a water-resistant coating, but the fingerprint sensor is on the side on the 2021, and on the 5G, fingerprint sensor on the back. Now, for the rest of this video, I'm just going to say the 2021 and the 5G. All right, so this way, y'all know what I'm talking about. Now, if you notice, the display just looks a little bit better on the 5G. On one side, you got your power button, volume up and down, mic on the top. Uh, there's your SIM tray on the other side, slash micro SD card slot tray. On the bottom, headphone jack, USB Type-C charging slot, speaker grill, and your stylus. Now, I didn't even talk about the stylus. Both of them have the stylus built into the bottom. Now, the stylus is the main reason that you're buying this phone. Now, if y'all see the Galaxy Note series, it's over. All right, so this is the last phone with the built-in stylus. Now, let me show you how the stylus works. Now, it works the same on both phones, and I will demo it. Just like with your Galaxy Note, with the phone off, let's see, take out the stylus. Now, I can just start writing on the display. So, we do my usual, call Mike, 347, blah, blah, blah. Now, if you want to, Hit the button, you can change your colors. All right, so write in whatever color you want. You can change the thickness of your pen. Make it nice and thick, giggity. And if you want to, you can hit the eraser. Erase everything from the bottom. You can add text. Let's see, uh, call Mike. Okay, call Mike, enter. Okay. And if you notice, now the call Mike is right there on the screen. We can swipe out of that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, hold up, hold up. You gotta, um, <laughs> I forgot, you gotta unlock it in order to do access certain features, but I'll do that again. All right, so let's lock it up again. Pull out the stylus. Okay, now from the bottom, if I want to, I can add a picture. Okay, take a picture. Bong, and start writing right on the picture if I want. Let's delete that. You can add a ruler, okay? And you can also change how your page looks. So let's get rid of that ruler real quick. And we'll change the pages. Now you can have the dots, you can have the lines like this. If y'all look closely, the page is changing. And you can change the transparency and the color of the page. All right, call Dave. So that's how the stylus works with the phone off. All right, so now let's put it back in. Locks into place just like that. Now, same thing. This is the 2021, okay? $300. Pull out your stylus. Bob. Call Bob. All right, we'll switch it up. Call Bob. Again, you can change the color of the pen, the thickness. You got an eraser. You can add text. You can add a photo. And you can change the backgrounds. So now let's uh, do a red pen. Get a little bit thick. Call Mark. Now from there, I can save it or share it. Now in order to share it, you have to put your fingerprint sensor in and then buy I can share it to whoever I want. Now that's with the screen off. Now let's put the stylus back in. And we'll try something else. Now this one, on the 5G, you got your fingerprint sensor on the rear, all right, instead of on the side. Fingerprint sensor does work flawlessly. Let's do three in a row. Bang, just like that. Now, let's take a look at the stylus with the display on. Once you open it up, you get a little menu. So now if I click on plus, this will bring my notepad. All right, call Trey. <laughs> I'm running out of names. All right, let's exit out of this. We'll discard it. Now, you see you have this little floating icon. You can move that wherever you want. But once you tap on that icon, this will bring up your menu again. So now, you click on the next option. That'll be a screenshot. So I can take a screenshot real quick. I can edit this, crop it, share it to whoever I want, or just go ahead and delete it. Hit the pen logo again. Now we got your coloring book. Now if I want to, I could just pick up a little page like this, and we can start some coloring. Let's get a little, elephants are usually blue. <laughs> if, you, if you're smoking that good stuff, you're gonna be seeing blue elephants, and you color it in. All right, go crazy, go crazy. You're sitting at the DMV, you don't got nothing to do. That's a good way to kill time. Click it one more time. Now you can also add a video or a picture and draw right on that. Click it again. This will be all of my Google Notes that I got saved. 
All right, so I was on the, in the process of calling Dave. I could just get and open that up, edit that note, go crazy with it. And you got one more. You got your gifts. All right, now it says start recording. Let's open up YouTube. Let's find something. Let's go home. Find something to record. All right, we got uh, oh, Galaxy Watch 4. I'll save that for tomorrow. All right, so say we got a little Mortal Kombat activity. Let's click on this. What is up, YouTube? If I want to make a we little got gift. a lot of Mortal Kombat X action going down tonight. Not okay. only do we have I can this hit record. incredibly hype set between Cyclone and... All right, and now you got a few seconds baby. to record. Listen, I know the dude's name sounds Let's like he came straight out of a, a, a circus. And bomb. I got a little animated Mortal gift. Is no... Just like that. Made a little animated gift. Now you can make it from any video that you want. All right, use your imagination. You can share it and go crazy. All right, let's delete that. Now you got one more. If you hit settings. Now you can add as many apps as you want to that little pen icon. So say I wanted to add something like, uh, let's do Yelp. So let's get rid of the movie one and the gift maker. Let's add Yelp. We'll add YouTube TV and we'll add Google Voice. Now when I hit that pen logo, bang. All of the new ones that I just added. Now, same thing, just pull out the 2021, okay? Pen logo comes up. Now, instead of a square, it comes up in a box, but it's the same thing, all right? You got your coloring book, you got your notes, everything is the same, all right? Let's see, call Fred. <laughs> I know, all right, there it is. All right, so the stylus on this, fully functional. This is the closest thing you're gonna find to getting the uh, Galaxy Note. Drop the, now the thing with the stylus is, it doesn't go in any direction, so if you try to put it in the wrong way, it won't slide in, all you gotta do is turn it a little, and it'll find the right direction. Okay, there it is. Snaps into place, just like that. Same thing, now look, without, without even looking at it, I went in on the first try, but if you try to put it in wrong, it'll give you a little feedback. Now, I noticed with the, with the uh, 5G, this one you can actually put in any way. With the 2021, yeah, with the 2021, you see it has that little groove. That little plus, that little groove right there has to be facing upwards or facing down. Otherwise, it's going to give you some feedback. You won't be able to push it in. But with the 5G, you take it out and put it in any direction. <laughs> take it out and put it in. I know, I know. All right. Now, face unlock. You do have face unlock, face unlock on both of these phones. All right. So I'm just going to start with the 5G. Pick it up. I'm not looking at it. Bang. I just looked at it. Open right up. Now let's try it again without looking at it. Nothing. I'm going to look at it. Here's your face unlock. Here's the 2021. I'm going to pick it up without looking at it. Nothing. As soon as I look at it, bang. Face unlock. So you got face unlock and fingerprint sensor. Now I'm using the same wallpaper on both of these phones. And if you notice, it just looks a little bit better on the 5G. Okay. Both of these phones, as far as build quality, exactly the same. All right. Plastic, big giant displays, a little bit heavy, but they definitely feel like quality. All right? They don't feel like cheap phones at all. Okay, now, like I said, then, since I'm doing two at the same time, I'm not going to go through all of the settings. Let's take it over to the display real quick. Matter of fact, let's just do a quick swipe check. Okay. All right, now, no crazy high refresh rates and all of that. These are mid-range phones. But one thing I will say about Motorola phones, these are quality. All right, you're going to save some money, but you're not going to get laggy, bullshit running phones. Like, these phones are definitely quality. I've always liked Motorola phones. Okay, now I got my swipe gesture set up. There's all my apps downloaded. Okay. Everything works. Now, if you swipe and hold up, got all your recently used apps. If I want to, get rid of one at a time or clear them all at one time. Now, here's the 5G. Again, all of my apps downloaded. This one is nice and smooth. Look how fast it runs. No hiccups. You might get a little lag here and there if you try to go crazy with 100 apps open at the same time. But these are quality phones. Okay? Now, let's do, let's, matter of fact, let's check the uh, web browsing speed on both of them at the same time. Go to apple.com. Opening web page. 
Now, this is exactly why I said don't get wrapped up with these specs on paper because you might think the processor is faster on paper for the 2021, but if you see in real world, in real world testing, it opened up faster on the 5G. All right, now, full website on both of these. Scrolling speeds, super fast, super smooth. No issues at all, all right? Again, you're paying an extra 100 bucks, it's gonna be a little bit faster. Now, I'm not using 5G, I'm on Wi-Fi with both of these. All right, so let's check a little uh, split screen multitasking. Split screen, let's take it over to, uh, let's go to YouTube on the bottom. Okay, now this is the 2021. No issues with the split screen. Nice and fast, nice and smooth. Same thing, here's the 5G. Swipe up, let's take it over to split screen. Take it over to YouTube on the bottom. There it is. YouTube, Apple on the top. Both of these phones, like I said, in real world usage, they feel the same, all right? I will actually say that the 5G just feels a little bit faster though. All right, and you see how it opens up the app for yourself, just a tiny bit faster, but nothing to really talk about. All right, let's keep it moving. All right, so now let's take a look at the display on each phone. Now I have them set up exactly the same, and I don't know if y'all can see this on camera, but with the 5G versus the 2021, the 5G, it just seems like the colors look a little bit better. You notice how the white looks a little bit more creamy, all right, on the 2021, and it looks a little bit colder on the 5G. Same exact settings. Okay, so now let's do another display test. Let's take it over to YouTube. Now, if you notice when I opened up YouTube, look how white the box is on the Sony video versus it's a little bit, a little bit less white, <laughs> if you could say that, a little bit less white. All right, so now let's do my usual display test. All right, so first we'll start off with the 2021. Let's get max volume. Okay, let's make sure we got max speed, quality. We'll go to higher quality. Rewind a little bit, and here it is. Okay, now we'll go full screen. Looks beautiful. Now here's what I'm gonna do. We'll do the same thing with the 5G. Let's get max quality. Rewind a little bit, go full screen. And there it is. Now here's what I'm gonna do. Let me turn the volume down. Now I'm gonna play the same video with no volume, side by side. On the bottom, this is gonna be the 2021 and the 5G on the top. Okay? Now, at this angle, the picture quality looks a little bit better on the 2021. Let's see if I could go to the exact same spot. Let's do it like that. <laughs> that, that might make a little bit more sense. Okay, so here we go. Start at the same time. We got the 2021 and the 5G on the top. Okay. Now, honestly, the 2021, the picture does look a little bit better. Okay, here's how they look side by side. Now, I look beautiful on no matter what phone you're using. <laughs> so that's not really going to help, but look at this for yourself. All right, both of the picture quality looks excellent. Now, let's do a sound test on both of these phones. So uh, let me let one more color Colorful, right, here it is. This is a nice one right here. Look at that difference. The 5G is on the top, the 2021 is on the bottom. Okay, now on camera, they might look about the same, but honestly, my personal opinion, the 2021 looks a little bit better. Just looks a little bit. Now, here's where the whites looking uh, actually creamier looks better on video. All right, during text, the whites looking colder. <laughs> I know, looks better on the... Uh, on the 5G. All right, so let's do a quick sound test. All right, so I got the usual sound test queued up. We're gonna start off with the 2021. Yo, sound test, tough a sound test. Everybody shut your mouth, tough a sound test. 
Time to test that quality in the sound test. How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound? Man? One bottom fireman speaker. Does it sound loud? Sounds How's decent. All right, now here's the 5G. Yo, sound test. Time for sound test. Everybody shut your mouth. Time for sound test. Time to test that quality in the sound test. How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound? How's it okay. Sound? Speaker sound exactly the same. Does it sound loud? Okay, How's exactly the same. All right, no difference in the sound quality from speakers. All right, so now let's do the RDA test, regular daily activities. Now I'm gonna do it at the same time on both phones. Now, both of these Motorola phones have something that's known as peak display. Here's how it works. Now it's not always on display, but you notice when you move the phone around, you get a little display and I can peek at my notifications. So you see I got the Instagram logo. If I press it and hold it, I can see my Instagram. I can see my Gmail. I can see the weather and I got a message. Same thing, peak display, bunch of notifications. There's my Gmail, friend request, Instagram. All right, that's called peak display. Now, we're gonna start off with the 2021. Wake up in the morning, wanna take a quick note? Boom, don't even turn your phone on. Start writing. All right, if you're done, drop the stylus back in, close up your device. Now, again, face unlock. Just pick it up, look at it, bong. There it is. Phone is unlocked. Same thing, peak display. Check that out if you want. Wanna write some quick notes while the display is off. Same thing, drop it back in. Fingerprint, not necessary. Pick up your phone, face unlock. Bang, there it is. Now you do have fingerprint sensor if you want. Just exit out of that. Fingerprint sensor on the rear. Same thing, fingerprint sensor on the side. No issues. All right, so let's try some regular stuff. Let's start off with our uh, Instagram, okay? All right, now shout out to Nas, got a new album. Scroll through Instagram. Like I said, I'm gonna try to do this quick. Same thing, grab the 2021. In this hand, we got the 5G in this hand. Here's how Instagram is gonna look. The same on both phones, okay? Exit out of that. Next, let's take it over to Facebook. Okay, so here's how it's gonna look. When you're rolling through Facebook, okay, no issues with that, exit out of that. Take it over to YouTube, okay, there's YouTube, watch all your videos, go crazy. Now, one of the best things about the stylus, pull it out and have some fun during the day. Uh, instead of taking a note, let's do the picture one real quick, since we got shoes right here. Bang, we, do, we could do a video if I want. I can hold and record. I right, choose what you're doing. Bang. There it is. <laughs> if I want to, I can draw on this. I can edit. Change the paintbrush. Go crazy. All right, go crazy. Exit out of that. And if I want to, I can do all the other stuff I was talking about earlier. Let's take a quick note. Go shopping. My handwriting is horrible. <laughs> all right, there it is. Yeah. All right, so boom. Exit out of that. And you can use your, your stylus. I'll save that one. You can use your stylus to do all your scrolling. If you like me and you got fat fingers, use it to check all your boxes. Let's go over to, uh, let's go to Gmail real quick. Now, I don't want to put nobody on blast. So let's go to something safe. Let's go to uh, social. Okay. I can go through all of my Gmails using the stylus. All right, shoes. <laughs> all right, exit out of that. Drop the stylus back in, same thing. Here's the uh, 5G, pull out your stylus. Now change it up a little bit. Let's change that paper in the back real quick. Let's go back to black, okay? And there it is. All right, so you can use this phone for all your regular daily activities. The processor is perfect for it. All right, shoes, shoes trying to make a phone call. Now. Since shoes is right here, going crazy. Let's take it over to camera. All right, so we'll start off with the 2021. All right, so here's your photos. All right, take a quick photo. Bang. There's your photos. You got 
videos. As a matter of fact, let's go through them real quick. All right, so here's video. Now, if you go to video and you swipe up, you got resolution, 4K, and full HD. Now, this is kind of important. Even though the camera pictures come out a little bit better with the 5G, the 5G doesn't shoot 4K video. All right, so this is the 2021. You got 4K or UHD, and you got 60 frames per second. So if you put it in 4K, you can only do 30 frames per second. But if you put it in full HD, you got 60 frames per second. Bang. You got stabilization. All right, let's go to more. You got portrait mode. You got cutout. Uh, cut out. You got spot color, night vision, cinema graph. You got panorama, group selfies, live filter. You got pro mode, slow motion, time lapse, AR stickers, and spot color. All right, so we'll leave it on video for a second. Now, here's the 5G, okay? Now, let's take it over to camera real quick. Watch this. Now, if you go to video and you swipe up, let's go to uh, video, swipe up. If you notice, the resolution is not there. It's only 1080p, but your frame rate, you can do 60 frames per second, but if you turn on stabilization, you can only do 30 frames per second. Okay? You got photos. You got wide angle. You got macro. Let's go to more. You got portrait, cutout, spot color, night vision, cinema graph, panorama, group selfie, live filter, pro mode, slow motion, time lapse, spot color, and dual capture. Now, let's go to photos again. Okay, now if you go to photos, on both phones, you got wide angle and you got macro. Okay, that's macro. There's your wide angle. <laughs> and there it is. Now look, I apologize if I'm going kind of fast. It's because it really didn't make sense to do two separate videos. These phones are so similar that we're really getting to see everything we want to see right now. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you some pictures and videos that I took. We're going to start off with the 2021. Since this is the least expensive one, take a look at these test pictures and videos. Then right after that, we're going to roll into test pictures and videos from the uh, 5G. All right, check these out.
overall. On a scale of one to 10, I'm giving the Moto G Stylus 2021 and the Moto G Stylus 5G a major go. And at 300 bucks and 400 bucks, as Bob Barker would say, the price is right. These are some great mid-range phones that are available for all your carriers and have a working stylus. Now here's the thing, all right? If you don't take nothing away from this video, the main difference is that you gotta remember is the price, the battery, and 5G. If you buy the 2021, you're gonna save 100 bucks, but you're getting less battery and it's not 5G compatible. Now, if you spend the extra 100 bucks, you're getting a bigger battery and you're getting 5G. As far as the camera, the display, all of the uh, speakers, all of the features, they're pretty much identical, all right? They're gonna work exactly the same in real life. Anyway, Moto G Stylus 5G, Moto G Stylus 2021, hit me up in the comments, let me know what y'all think about these, and let me know if y'all like this form factor, if I got two phones that's pretty much identical, should I do them in the same video? and rush through it like this, or should I do them individually? Now, my personal opinion is do them at the same time. Because if you watch, if I made a separate video for, for the 2021, you, you're not gonna sit back and watch a whole nother video about the same phone, just with a few differences. I think I should do them together, but I wanna, I wanna hear from y'all. Y'all let me know what y'all think, because I know when I do it like this though, I tend to go a little bit faster, and it seems like I'm rushing, but I just don't wanna make the video to be two hours long, and we're talking about basically the same phone. But at the same time, I want to be fair and show you all the features and show you how they work on each phone. Anyway, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, Stream Gates is on deck. Get the drinks ready. No meat boys a lot. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. One more thing, I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spock won the beam up. Energize. I want everybody to subscribe to Flossy Carter for the real tech reviews. Now, Flossy Carter, we know you Flossy. Now, guess what? I'm flashy. Money may all day, the one and only. Flossy Carter, you part of the money team.